How you doing guys? This is Hybrid Steel and today I've got a bit of a problem. I want to make this a bit more sort of so I don't have to bother with it. And the problem with that is that this I can't drill through or do anything with and I can't lay pipe through it. So I have to change all of this and put it elsewhere. So I've bought pipes, pipes, pipes and more flooring. The reason why I need to do all this is because what I want to do is I want to shift my entire filter system over to here and basically put a conveyor belt system underneath it so I could just load up the conveyor belts with like tools and not have to worry about my build ever again or at least until I can be bothered to the idea is to put so many tool bags on this thing that I don't have to worry so we're going to make a conveyor belt or basically a carousel that you would see at an airport just full of tool bags that's that's the whole plan so the first thing I need to do is I need to divert my lava pipe from here basically across here down here and I'm going to put it along here and the reason why I'm going to do this is because I can still hook it up into this section here also gives me a bit more breathing room when I come into putting in my like my big heavy harvester because of the sheer size of it I do need to change up my layout a bit and this would be the first thing I need to move because the main set of piping comes across here and that's where the harvester is going to go so we're all in preparation so we're going to be changing this into whatever I finish with so let's start now then first off i need to divert this that way and down into there and then i need to build into a conveyor belt so that'll be fun i mean for me it's like work for you guys it's the snap of a finger and we're all good okay part two we're back and uh, as you can see we have built my line which is going to come all the way from here over to be fair i could probably move this a little bit closer to my build because well reasons you know joys of life but this is where i want my filter system now because it's going to feed straight into the side of here it gives me a little bit of like wiggle room when it comes down to the heavy harvester and we should be fine and basically i now need to build a conveyor belt that's lower than the actual filters because that's where i need to put my filter where i need to put my tool bags so i need a conveyor belt that goes underneath because i'll show you this is when you get your like your spanner hurler you plop it down there now underneath it you'd have a conveyor belt running so the tool bags just clip into the bottom of it so if it like dies down like you've got like one sp you know oh no i've used up a, a spanner another spanner will basically replace it and replace it and that's just how you can do it it, but it almost causes an infinite loop of spanner hurling it's all good and uh there we go one conveyor belt and it was fun <laughs> basically i had to use i had to yeah i had to use my rake had to use my pickaxe and we just had to basically bore out the whole thing just to get it all in which is fine i did stuff up in the middle here i've got like some squares like these ones i'm just gonna pop them over the top and make it look cool so that's okay right that's fantastic and the reason why we built it so big this time is because i wanted it to space out a bit just have a little bit more wiggle room so to speak so yeah there we go conveyor belt will basically go underneath here and we'll be able to fill up and everything else now one thing i have got to do is i've got to fit it into the actual water mains so i'm gonna to have to take this corner off and then i'm gonna to have to take this corner off and go oh i'm gonna try and go st it's not gonna be stealthy at all it's just gonna be like horrible but we should be okay so i need a t-pipe i need a t-pipe if i've got one oh i might have i got one in here there's a t-pipe oh yes oh yes there we go stick that on there now i need a straight pipe i oh, know we need a curve up first elbow and a straight pipe boom shanker all good and i'll put my conveyor belt back up there because that goes up there that goes there that's fantastic and we're good now let me just um oh i'm like one short damn it okay anyways well that's fine i'll fill it in later it's okay all right so the next thing i've got to do then is i've got to move all that circuitry over to here so let the fun games begin basically and we should be okay and there we go there's our circuits and we're all nice so i'm a little bit annoyed that i have to put up with this pipe it's a, it's a little bit jarring that it's here to be fair but we'll fi i'll try and figure something out. i know i could probably connect it out through here but then i have to go through this pipe which is not good for me i could loop it around but i think at the moment it'll probably just stay like that and it's fine so the best thing i can do now is i just need to basically make it work which I haven't been able, I'm not turning on the water just yet because I've still got a few bits and pieces to do, like cleanup crew. So cleanup crew for me is basically 
taken all the lava pipes off of where I just was, which is like over here. Uh, we've got to get rid of all this stuff now. Oh no, it's fine. Oh, yep, uh, up we go. Fantastic. So, this will help over, over time. It's going to help me more because having a little bit of space is always good. And especially when I'm about to like go and get myself like a really big harvester and you know start like big building. I need to basically free up some space and freeing up the space is what we need to do so that's where we are at on here now being that this is my main provider of power now I actually don't need um, I don't need that there I can put a corner in there um, so what I want to do really is that this pipeline here I might force this one under all this and maybe T pipe into the back of there um, it's just, I think by the, when I get around to actually putting in a he heavy harvester, I'm going to have to redo this little section anyway. Because the heavy harvester is nine squares. So, imagine this harvester is like the main square, right? Well, that's the centre of the harvester itself. Everything around it, including these conveyor belts, is all going to have to go. So, I'm going to have to replace all this, and that's going to suck balls, if I'm going to be brutally honest. So, I'll figure that out as we go. And thankfully, I did make this little area over here to like hold stuff, so... It's all good. Now, I need to put all of those on the conveyor belt. So, I need an empty cart, sled, thing, empty Ujima Flippy, and we're all good. Right, and cool. Now, what I'm going to do is load up my cart full of spanners. Now, it doesn't matter if they get stuck. They'll unstick themselves over time. That's just life. Everything comes apart eventually. Especially the best laid plans of mice and men. If you've never read the book... I advise go and read a book, then you'll know what I'm talking about. <laughs> and yes, I have read that book many times. It was an English project way back in the days in school. Ah, oh, the good old days. So I've got one more spare. Fantastic. Let me just go and drop my cart off over on the other side. Gotta be honest, I'm glad I built this. Now I've got like cart storage. Now, technically, say technically, this is what should happen. I turn this on, this conveyor belt goes round and round and starts filling up the tools in that section. So I want to see this actually happen. So I'm going to disconnect the piping so it doesn't work. I'm going to move this over to here. If I turn on the lava, let me just turn these on. That means they're working. And let me turn this on, and that is fine. So conveyor belts and everything are now working, and that's good. And that's now dripping. So now what should happen, I'm going to connect this, and all of these will start going up to 20. Perfect. Absolute perfect. And there you go. An absolutely amazing wandering conveyor belt for tool bags where I don't have to worry about ever duly dealing with anything again. The worst case scenario is that though like to put this into perspective, a full load of filters with like the auto repair will cut will take around like nine hours to drain. With all of those tool bags there, I'm looking at like eighteen to twenty hours. I'm happy now. I don't have to worry. So I can play this game for a really long time and not worry. The only thing that I've got an issue with is the actual, like, it's the weirder section. I may, I maybe, maybe my little centralizer here might be able to help me out with this. Interesting. So it doesn't actually. Wow. The centralizer doesn't work with that. Fair enough. Well, as long as they're going round and round, I actually don't care. So, yeah, there you go. That's how I've basically automated. Well, I say automated. All I've got to do is drop tool bags onto a conveyor belt now, and I'm all, f and I'm all good. And that's just how it works. Obviously, with the corners, it does sort of like bring in, bring stuff down like really into this narrow corner, so it will start overlapping onto the side. But I'll be I'll be completely fine with that. Anyway, hopefully this may inspire you to build your own version. And like I said, you'll get a lot more runtime out of your builds. You don't have to worry so much anymore. And as soon as you've got rid of all... And if you come back and all of a sudden you've got no more tool bags left in your conveyor belt, and it still says you've got like 20 left... You've still got nine hours to play. You'll be completely fine. Don't worry about it. So until my next video live stream or whatever else I do on this channel, guys, hopefully this will help you uh, in your journeys to Hydroneer greatness. So until then, I'm going to say peace out, have fun, enjoy everything you guys do, and have a great rest of your day. A boom! Fist bump to you.